Today, we will talk about how to poop instantly when constipated. Let's have a look at the details. You've been pooping so long that it's easy to take the simple but necessary act for granted. Not being able to go at any given moment probably won't wreck your day, but it can leave you feeling uncomfortable, bloated, and, well, crappy. It's important to remember that there is no standard frequency for bowel movements. Some people poop every day, while others poop every couple of days. Both are normal and as long as you feel good, it's not much to worry about. However, you're probably well aware of how often you typically have a bowel movement, so when you're suddenly struggling to go, it's kind of a big deal. While chronic constipation can be a sign of an underlying health condition, like irritable bowel syndrome, that's probably not what's going on if you only struggle to poop occasionally. Luckily, this video will tell you some home remedies that can help get things moving again, according to doctors. The first step is take a fiber supplement. Fiber supplements are readily available and effective at inducing bowel movements if a low fiber diet is the cause of your constipation. They work by adding bulk, or volume, to your stool. This helps push stool through your intestines and out of your body. Here are a few common ones. Calcium polycarbophil, fiber, con. Psyllium, metamucil, consul. Methyl cellulose, citrusel. The second step is eat a serving of high fiber food. Try these foods that are high in fiber. Oats. Whole grain bread or cereal. Fibrous veggies and fruits. Rice and beans. Be sure to drink lots of water with these foods, as it will further help push your stool through your system. The third step is drink a glass of water. Proper hydration, typically at least 8, 8 ounce glasses of clear liquid per day, is necessary for normal bowel movements. If you're constipated and haven't been drinking an adequate amount of water, consuming a large glass of water or other clear liquid may trigger a bowel movement. The fourth step is take a laxative stimulant. Laxative stimulants are designed to force a bowel movement by squeezing the intestines. You can get stimulants over the counter at your local pharmacy. Some popular options include Bisacodyl, Dulcolax, Ducodyl, Correctol, Senesenicides, Senecot. The fifth step is take an osmotic. Osmotic laxatives work slightly differently than stimulant laxatives. They're designed to help move fluids through the colon. Some examples include Magnesium hydroxide, Philips milk of magnesia, Polyethylene glycol, Mira LAX, Magnesium citrate, Lactulose, Crystallose. With a doctor's prescription, you can obtain higher strength polyethylene glycol, also called PEG, go lightly, new lightly. The sixth step is try a lubricant laxative. Lubricant laxatives such as mineral oil add a slick coat to your intestines walls, allowing stool to move through your colon and out of your body more easily. Take mineral oil no more than 2 hours after your evening meal. Expect results within 6 to 8 hours. The seventh step is use a stool softener. One common cause of constipation is dehydration, which can cause hard stool. Using a stool softener, such as docusate sodium colase or docusate calcium surfac, can moisten the stool by pulling water from your intestines. This allows the stool to exit your body more easily. The eighth step is try an enema. There are several types of enemas that you can try. Enemas work by softening stool enough to produce a bowel movement. Some common types of enemas include sodium phosphate, fleet, soap suds, and tap water enemas. Learn about proper ways to administer an enema. The ninth step is try a suppository. Rectal suppositories also help encourage bowel movements by softening the stool. Try a glycerin or bisacodyl suppository which you can find at your local pharmacy. The tenth step is get in a squat position to poop. Bring a small footstool into your bathroom the next time you need to poop. Placing your feet on a stool in front of the toilet while you poop, so your body is essentially in a squatting position instead of in a seated position can help you pass the stool without straining. The eleventh step is get some exercise. Light exercise, such as walking or jogging, can encourage bowel movements by increasing blood flow throughout your abdomen. The twelfth step is make like a caveman and squat. The Continents Foundation of Australia recommends sitting with your knees higher than your hips for optimal pooping. To do so, you might need to use a footstool. Here are a few other ways to strike the perfect poop pose. Place your elbows on your knees and lean forward. Relax your stomach. Straighten your spine. A 2019 study also found that defecation posture medication devices help participants reduce straining and better evacuate their bowels over a six-week period. Put that squatty potty you got in a gift exchange to good use. When to talk to your doc? Constipation happens for lots of reasons, being dehydrated, slacking on your fiber intake, or even being stressed. If you're backed up for more than three weeks and lifestyle changes don't do the trick, talk to your doctor. You should also call up your doc if you experience any of the following. Prolonged stomach pain. Blood in the stool. 
rapid weight loss. Without treatment, constipation can lead to hemorrhoids or rectal prolapse, so always play it safe by seeing a pro about your lack of pooping. Thanks for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.